Well, I can tell you 2022 is going to go down in uh, my uh, memoirs as a very uh, special year in many respects. Uh, uh, having the opportunity uh, midway through the year to uh, take on the role as a uh, appointed mayor by council certainly uh, was uh, uh, heartwarming and humbling for sure. And then to uh, carry on through that through the municipal election and uh, have the support of the, of the community uh, to be their mayor for the next four years. Again, uh, just uh, two uh, significant highlights for me. Uh, from a community standpoint, uh, you know, this 2022 really marked uh, the real start of the construction of our Muskoka Lumber Community Centre. Uh, you know, if you go by the site today, you'll start seeing some real uh, progress in terms of some of the steel that's coming up and, and things like that. So it's starting to take shape. So that project is very, very exciting and continues to be something that uh, it would be a highlight uh, to see that because we worked so hard and so long on trying to ensure that we, first of all, had the right plan, the right time, and, and of course the funding behind that. And to see all those pieces come together and now see that we're going to have what I call a generational uh, a facility uh, in our community is going to be very, very exciting as we move forward into the next couple of years. Uh, I think that the other thing that in terms of highlights, uh, you know, certainly uh, we've seen a lot of uh, growth in our community. So there's been new people that have uh, come to our community and to uh, go through the last uh, period of the election campaign, knocking on doors and meeting some of those folks and and really uh, seeing the smile on their face that they're so happy to be in Bracebridge. I tell you that uh, you know, there a lot of them have come from different areas, including the, the GTA area, and have found uh, Ver Bracebridge to be a very complimentary community for them. So it was exciting to meet uh, the new residents of our community. And I think that, uh, you know, as uh, kind of an overall uh, summary of 2022, it was a great opportunity now for us to move out of uh, the restrictions that we were tied to, to COVID for uh, a couple of years and even longer. We're starting to have more of those activities, more engagement with the community, more opportunities to meet face-to-face, uh, -to, -face, to have uh, the opportunity to celebrate at events and festivals. So, you know, it was an exciting year when it came to, you know, Canada Day fireworks and uh, Midnight Madison in the downtown and our Santa Claus parade, which uh, was the first time ever at nighttime parade. So seeing those events come to uh, fruition and seeing those faces that we missed in seeing uh, for so many years uh, was uh, really exciting for 2022.